We're talking with Luann Reeb, the president of Legal Talk Network, who was kind enough to have us on the Lawyer to Lawyer podcast today. Thanks for speaking with us, Luann. Oh, you guys are great. I hope you had a good time being a guest. It's probably a different, you know, role for you. You weren't asking the questions on Lawyer to Lawyer, but hopefully you had a good time. You and well, Rachel both were great guests. It, it was a good time, but I am more comfortable on this side of the mic than that side. Uh, let me ask you, just tell us a bit about Legal Talk Network. What is uh, the, the organization and, and how long have you been in business? The founders, including myself, came from CBS Boston. So we were in the broadcast world for a long time, and then we started our own business. I won't tell you too much about that. In 2004, we launched Legal Talk Network as part of our mothership company here. And the idea was, instead of broadcasting, it would be narrowcasting. Legal Talk Network obviously is targeting the legal community, lawyers, paralegals, all sorts of legal services companies. And we came up with this idea because we saw new media starting to bud, starting to be adopted pretty readily, and uh, lawyers like to talk. So we um, founded Legal Talk Network and primarily did podcasts. Now we're doing video. So if you were to ask me, coming from television, we're kind of going back to the future a little bit with regard to new media not being accepted uh, not just audio, but also video. So you can listen to podcasts. They're free. And um, they do so to the tune of about 120000 a month. Really? Yeah, yeah. So that's, we're pleased with that. That's for all of them combined. That's right. And which one is your most listened to podcast? Lawyer to Lawyer. The, you got the top show. You were on the top wow. show. Lawyer to Lawyer has been around the longest. And it's a weekly. Much like the print business, if you publish weekly, you tend to have more readers, listeners, watchers. And so how many people may listen to the Lawyer to Lawyer podcast we just recorded? About 75000 a month. Really? Yeah. Remarkable. And what's the business model for this? I mean, where, how do you make your money? Our business model is very similar to traditional media, sponsor-based, commercials embedded in the podcast, um, sometimes before the videos or embedded in the videos, much like uh, sponsors on television, radio, print. Those sponsors want to reach our audience, and they found that one of the ways to do that now, in addition to traditional media, is new media. So why not buy a commercial and a podcast? It's really pretty simple. So what kind of advertisers do you have? Uh, we have all sorts of legal software advertisers. We have uh, firms that advertise. Anybody who wants to reach that legal community, and a lot of people are trying to reach paralegals these days because they tend to be the gatekeepers often for the firms in terms of services and products that they need for the law firms. And you said that you're beginning to experiment with doing video podcasts as well. We just did one which was an audio podcast. How do you decide which to do, video or audio? Mostly audio still. Um, we are doing video with lawyers primarily who want to market themselves. I think your program, the project that you're on, uh, you're, you're, you're doing right now, definitely weighs in on the fact that lawyers realize it's a different world out there. They can't just expect clients to find them, you know, in the phone book years ago. They really have to have a web presence. And so we have like minds in that regard. In terms of telling stories, it's very important for lawyers to be seen, mm -hmm. to be articulate, because most of them are. And the best way to do that without any geographic boundaries is video. That's what you folks are doing, too. So, my, you know, I commend you for embracing that, and I think you're going to get a pretty big response, I'm guessing. Well, we certainly have so far, and, and, and we appreciate you inviting us to be on Lawyer to Lawyer. Uh, if people want to see any of your podcasts, where can they go? They can go to LegalTalkNetwork.com, and I would be remiss. I want to make sure that the whole team at Legal Talk Network gets credit. Kate Kenny, Michael Hockman, Deb Kerman, Curran, Scott Hess. You know, it's a small team, but um, they're great. And we met most of those folks today. Great people, too. So thank you for having us, and we wish you continued success. Thanks for coming.